There comes a time when silence is betrayal. That was the message today as Mid Michigan honored the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. The 35th annual MLK Day of Celebration also paid tribute to Congressman John Lewis, one of the leaders of the civil rights movement. Christiana Ford was there and brings us this report. Surrounded by music, food, and fellowship. You see people of all races, ethnicities, uh, backgrounds, uh, gathering as one uh, to commemorate the work of Dr. King. They gathered in Lansing to celebrate a man considered the champion of the civil rights movement. He's our big voice, but the civil rights movement, as we all know, is more than just uh, Dr. Martin Luther King, but we are doing him a disservice if we don't continue the legacy and we continue to let the young people know uh, about this fight. The theme of this year's MLK Day of Celebration, there comes a time when silence is betrayal. A tribute to U.S. Representative John Lewis, recently diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. He was a young person when he took those sort of monumental steps, when he was on the Edmund Pettus Bridge, when he was joining the movement. We need to make sure young people have seats at the table and can have leadership responsibilities and opportunities as we push forward, and we don't always make that possible. A message to speak up, even when it's not the most comfortable thing to do, that goes beyond this one day. If someone sees something that is not right, we want people to, to speak up and stand up. And so that's what we want to see. We want people to be more engaged uh, with the civil rights movement. And uh, so we're just proud to be able to serve this great community. And that was Christiana Ford reporting. The keynote speaker for the event was Andrew Aiden, an award-winning author and top aide to Congressman John Lewis. Together, they wrote a book about Lewis's experiences in the civil rights movement. You'll hear more from him coming up tonight on the News at 10. One of today's largest celebrations was at the King Memorial in Washington, D.C. Speakers recited lines from one of his most famous speeches as a wreath was laid at the base of his statue. Martin Luther King Day has been a national holiday since 1983. It's celebrated on the third Monday in January, putting it close to his birthday on January 15th.